Dear Heavenly Father, we are grateful for the opportunity to be in a free country. We are grateful for the things that you have given us above and beyond, that you have blessed us beyond measure, that you have blessed us in a country, in a community, that we are free. We are able to serve each other. Lord, we pray for the ones this evening that are not as blessed and do not have the blessings throughout the country, throughout the world, and even in their own homes. Lord, we ask you to lead, guide, and direct the Board of Commission as they move forward, not only tonight, but through the next year and through the next time that's appointed. Lord, we thank you for the things that you've seen forward in this community. We thank you for the people, the citizens, the leadership. And again, we do thank you for our blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. We do have someone that's traveling, and we are going to take just a short intermission, if you would please, to allow that person to arrive. It is a part of the swearing in, so we do want to be um, respectful and try to allow that time. It should not be but a few minutes. If you would please be patient, we'll call a short recess.
to order the Board of Commissioners meeting at 711. Swearing in of our mayor elect, Patty Carroll, and our commissioner, Mr. Shannon Crutcher. Which I've been elected, in which I am about to assume, I do solemnly swear, I do solemnly swear to support the constitutions of Tennessee, the constitutions of Tennessee, the United States of America, the United States of America, and the Charter of the City of Fairview, Tennessee, and the Charter of the City of Fairview, Tennessee, to faithfully perform, to faithfully perform the duties of the Office of Mayor. Office of the Commissioner of the City of Fairview, representing all the citizens of the City of Fairview, representing all the citizens of the City of Fairview. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Ready. The number three on the agenda is it is elect a vice mayor. I'm opening the nominations to elect a vice mayor and I elect Shannon Crutcher. Anybody else have any nominations? I'd like to make a nomination for Tony Sutton. Any other nominations?
I close the nominations. Roll call vote, please. Commissioner Bissell. Sutton. Commissioner Crutcher. 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 Sutton. Sutton. Okay. Well, welcome, Vice Mayor Sutton. I Okay, the um, item four on the agenda is approval of the agenda. Move Do I approve. have a motion? Move to approve. Second. Okay. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, item five. Citizens' comments? Madam Do Chairman, there are no citizens' comments tonight. Okay, thank you. Okay, item six, award and recognition. And I've been told that we have a special award that um, Vice Mayor Sutton will be um, presenting. Can I invite the mayor back up? In recognition of all your hard work, diligence, and dedication to the city of Fairview, I'd like to present you from the citizens of Fairview and this commission in grateful appreciation of your outstanding dedicated service to the people of your community in Fairview. I finally got you something that I can't unscrew the thing anymore, so thank you very much. <laughs> Hopefully you'll stay around with us and not run off for the meeting, but um, just in case, I would like to say a special thank you. I've enjoyed serving with you. It's really been my honor. And um, Beverly is our 20th mayor, and I found out she's the second elected um, mayor, so that's a great honor, and she's just been in service to her community prior to taking public office and she has continued and I know she's going to do great things and she will be missed and thank you so much. Okay. Okay, any other public announcements? Yes. Sure. This is Lieutenant Roy Russell. He is my employee of the month. I don't know what we do around here without. <laughs> Roy Russell helps everyone that works for this city, from the public works to the parks department, the fire department, of course the police department, but he's been a, an exceptional help to me. You can ask him to do anything within reason, of course, that's, uh, but he's just been a great asset to this community, and I, I wanted to honor him with being the employee of the month. Well, thank you so Thanks much. Thanks a lot, so Okay, next item on the agenda is public announcements. We did that, right? Um, we will, item eight on agenda is approval of the minutes. Approval of the minutes from November 6, 2014, Board of Commissioners meeting. Is there um, a motion? Move to approve. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Old business, item A, discuss and take action on second reading of Bill 2014-25, ordinance number 
847. Vice Mayor, if you'll read. I'm going to defer this to Stuart tonight, if you don't mind. I had some oral surgery, so he's volunteered to read them if he might. Okay. He's it's an ordinance to amend the City of Fairview, Tennessee Municipal Code, Title Five, Municipal Finance and Taxation, Chapter 6, Adequate Facilities Tax, Section 5-604, Use of Tax. Move for approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. Item C, Old Business, discuss and take action on second reading of Bill 2014-28, Ordinance Number 850. Ordinance Number 849 is what I have. Oh, is it? 849. It's an ordinance for an amendment to the City of Fairview, Tennessee budget for fiscal year 2014-15 budget. Okay. You're right. I went ahead. Thank you. Move for approval. Second. Do I need to read? I guess so. Okay, so we have a motion that passed on um, discuss and take action on second reading of Bill 2014-27, number 849. I just wanted to restate in case I confused um, anybody. Okay, item C, discuss and take action on second reading of Bill 2014-27. You didn't get a vote. We need to, we need to okay. vote on okay. that one. Okay, sorry. Got ahead. Got ahead, I know. Um, okay, discuss. Okay, we had a motion, right? Who motioned it? Go back through it for me. Did anybody? Okay, okay. So, and we had no discussion, so all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, any opposed? Okay. Now we can move on to C, correct? Okay. Discuss and take action on second um, reading of Bill 2014-28, Ordinance Number 850. I've really been wanting to pass this one. Um, do I have a motion? Move to approve. Do I have to second? Second. Any discussion? Let me read the caption, please, okay. Mayor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ordinance to amend the City of Fairview, Tennessee Municipal Code, <laughs> Title 13, Property Maintenance Regs, Chapter 4, Tree Planting Protection, Section 13409, Community Tree Plan. Okay. Okay. Move to approve. Do we have second? Okay, discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Item D. Discuss and take action on second reading of Bill 2014-29, Ordinance Number 851. If you'll please read. It's an ordinance for the amendment to the City of Fairview, Tennessee budget for fiscal year 2014-15 budget. Move for approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Okay, new business. Discuss and take action on the retirement of the K-9 officer, Tara, um, Commissioner Johnson. Thank you. At this time, I'll turn it over to Chief Harris. Yes, we've got a K-9 officer, Tara, that has been greatly, uh, for the Fairview Police Department, has probably brought between one hundred and fifty to one hundred seventy-five thousand dollars to the Fairview Police Department. Um, she, she's not that old, but jumping in and out of that car, her back end is kind of rough. So, Shane, you'll have Shane bring Officer Tara in. Hopefully, there's no drugs in here, and we'll be all right. <laughs> But she's been great for the Fairview Police Department. <clears throat> Shane has had this dog, he's the handler, and I would like to ask this board to give this dog to Shane. Uh, he has taken care of her. Actually, I think his wife's taking more care of the dog. <laughs> Mayor, if I could, I'm going to read a proclamation. Sure. This is a City of Fairview proclamation. Recognition is hereby given to Detective Shane Dunning and Canine Officer Tara. 
whereas K-9 Terra began her career with the Fairview Police Department in 2007, handled by Sergeant Pat Stockdale and Agent Kenny McAllister, and whereas Shane Dunning was hired by the Fairview Police Department in 2008 and there, thereafter began working with Terra as his partner, and whereas Terra, in conjunction with Agent Dunning, has been instrumental in the seizure of over a thousand pounds of marijuana, over six kilos of cocaine, and over five pounds of meth. And whereas Tara has performed over 96 hours of annual training each year of her very productive career. And whereas we extend our gratitude to Agent Dunning and Tara for their dedication to keeping the city of Fairview safe, bestow upon Tara the tenant, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Now therefore, the Mayor and Board of Commissioners of the City of Fairview, Tennessee hereby feel it is fitting and proper that we present this certificate of appreciation and pay such tribute to this very special team who has contributed so much to our community. In witness thereof, we have set our hand on this 20th day of November 2014. Mayor, I would like to make a motion that we allow this retired officer to stay with Mr. Dunning. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? No, I think it's pretty much always customary for them to take control since they've had control of them for so long. And I don't think we can entrust them to anybody any better. So, yes, I, think I agree. Uh, Chief, in the past, have we furnished any food or anything for that? Yes, for about six months. About six months of food. I'd also like to move or can add to that for, for food for the next six months. Okay, so do we need to amend that then to go back and add or? I withdraw my original motion. Make the motion that he do, does receive the dog and that we do furnish food for the next six months. That'd be my second. Motion. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you so much. And thank you for taking my And before I step down, I would like to introduce our new canine officer, uh, Officer Lexis. <laughs> Uh, old dog trip. <laughs> this is Officer Lexus, and she will be taking Tara's place. And she has just graduated the uh, Canine Academy, and she's young. Item B, new business, discuss and take action on the um, certification of compliance for retail package stores, sister seller. Are they here tonight? There you go. <laughs> Class actor. And this is going to be located where? At exit 182, up exit 182, which is the 182 liquor store. Currently, yes. It's currently, so we're just actually changing owners. Yes, correct. And we've already done the background checks and everything's been approved. So I make a motion to approve. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion carries. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Item C, discuss and take action on approval of parade permit for Fairview Chamber of Commerce, Commerce Christmas Parade. Commissioner Johnson. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, Chief Harris asked us to uh, 
pass this since there is going to be uh, the closing of Highway 100. Uh, so I will move for approval. This will be on December the 13th from 11 to 2.30. Correct. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? Mayor, just for a little bit of input, the, the, the question was raised because of, we didn't have a turning line, we didn't have a center lane for emergency traffic It was if it was absolutely necessary. Now that we do have that in the future, I believe city manager will be able to sign off on it for us having the, the safe route through town. And there will be alternative routes set up for detours in case somebody has to do that. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Okay, thank so, you. So my understanding, the right-hand lane going eastbound toward Nashville, that'll be the open lane? Is that correct? Okay. Okay. And so we got the times. What do they have to be to be judged? The They'll judge, uh, if you want your float judge to be there at 10 a.m. in the uh, France parking lot. Okay. And then step off at 11. Okay. Great. And that's so, the second Saturday in December. Okay. okay. Um, we have a first and second. Um, any other discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay, um, next item. D, discuss and take action of cancellation of the Board of Commissioners meeting January 1st, 2015. Commis or Vice Mayor Sutton. Now, since that is a holiday for us, the city hall will be closed that day so the employees will be off. So I make a motion that we cancel that meeting for January the 1st, 2015. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. E, discuss and take action of Bill 2014-33, Ordinance Number 855. It's an ordinance to change the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7161 Cox Pike, owned by Richard W. McCord and Denise R. McCord, as shown on the Williamson County Tax Map 42H Group C, parcel 2.01 from RS40 to Town Center Overlay District without designation, approximately 0.48 acres. Are they here tonight? They are. Move for approval. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion E carries. Okay, item F, discuss and take action. Bill 2014-34, ordinance number 856. It's an ordinance to change the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7159 Cox Pike, owned by Roger E. Lampley and Deborah Hall Lampley, as shown on the Williamson County Tax Map 42H, Group C, Parcel 2.02, from RS40 to TCOD, without designation. Move for approval. Second. Okay, we have a first and a second. Any discussion? And I see they're here. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Discuss and take action of Bill 2014-35, Ordinance Number 857. It's an ordinance to change the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7119 Cox Pike, owned by Elton C. Hall and Deborah L. Hall as shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42H, Parcel 3, from RS40 to TCOD without designation, approximately 0.58 acres. Move for approval. Second. Discussion. Okay, we have first and second. No discussion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Item H, discuss and take action on Bill 2014-36, Ordinance Number 858. An ordinance to change the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7151 Cox Pike, owned by Elton C. Hall and Deborah L. Hall, as shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42H, Parcel 3, from RS40 to TCOD, without designation, approximately 1.3 acres. Move for approval. Second. First and second, any discussion? All in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item I, discuss and take action of bill number 2014-37, ordinance number 859. It's an ordinance to change the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7114 Wiley Circle, owned by Roger E. Lampley and Deborah Hall Lampley. It's shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42H Group C, Parcel 1, from RS40 to TCOD without designation. Move for approval. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item J, discuss and take action of bill number 2014-38, ordinance number 860. It's an ordinance to change the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7112 Wiley Circle, owned by Roger E. Lampley and Deborah Hall Lampley, as shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42, Group C, Parcel 2, uh, from RS40 to TCOD without designation. Move for approval. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Discuss and take action on Bill 2014-39, Ordinance Number 861. It's an ordinance to change the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7169 Cox Pike, owned by Margie McCord, as shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42, Parcel 179, from RS40 to TCOD without designation, approximately 1.30 acres. Move for approval. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Dis item L, discuss and take action on resolution declaring the first Saturday of each December Bowie Nature Park Volunteer Day. Commissioner Bissell. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Uh, first of all, when we submitted the agenda, the actual name had not been named so Bowie Nature Park Volunteer Day has been changed to Community Parks Day and many of of us up here have already gotten our invitation to participate that day and I know that several of the people in the audience tonight uh, have already made plans to participate but uh, I have a proclamation to establish Community Parks Day on an annual basis uh, that I would like to read and then uh, Hopefully we will approve it and sign it for them. City of Fairview Proclamation to establish Community Parks Day. Whereas the city of Fairview's park system began when Dr. Evangeline Bowie deeded the land that is known as Bowie Nature Park to the city of Fairview in December 1988. And whereas the Fairview park system grew as Dr. Bowie later bequeathed what is now the historical village and Veterans Memorial Park at Evergreen Lake and has continued to grow as other parks have been added. And whereas these public parks provide locally accessible natural and cultural resources for learning, wildlife appreciation, and recreation, and whereas public parks promote shared stewardship and requires the goodwill, cooperation, and active support of citizens, community, local and state officials, business leaders, youths, and adults, and whereas the giving of oneself in service to another empowers the giver and the recipient. Now, therefore, the mayor and board of commissioners do hereby proclaim the first Saturday in December to be Community Parks Day and encourage fellow residents of Fairview and the surrounding area to take time on this day each year to participate in a day of public service within the Fairview Park System. Move to approve. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? I think it sounds like a great idea. Move to approve. Um, I'm sorry, got it. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we have a first and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Mayor? Yes. I have the actual resolution needs to be signed by all of us before we leave. Tonight. Perfect. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Okay, item M, discuss and take action on a resolution declaring the medical clinic and old post office located at Historical Village City of Fairview Historical Building Commissioner Bissell. Thank you and I'll be brief on this as well. Uh, as you know we had planned to try to open the Triangle School this month and begin that process and we had a little water problem 
like there was more inside than outside with the rains that we got. So we had to postpone that so that we could have the roof fixed before the in, inside could be continuing. But as we were working the issue of a certificate of occupancy for the Triangle School, the question came up about the Jingo Post Office and the first medical clinic that are also adjacent to it. And the issue that we have is because the buildings have been moved from their original location, the state will not grant historical designation to them, which is what we need in order to make those buildings exempt from uh, certificate of occupancy uh, ADA compliant. So uh, we, however, can designate those buildings historical buildings for the city, even though they've been moved. And by doing that, it gives us standing to apply for an exemption, which we would then, Dr. Rice and myself, will work toward with the state of Tennessee to try to get that. So I have a proclamation uh, for those two buildings, if you don't mind if I read that. Please do. Whereas the Jingo Post Office and the medical clinic are of significance in the city and community's history and culture and possess integrity of design, setting, materials, workmanship, feeling, and association that are associated with events that have made a significant contribution to the broad patterns of our history. Whereas the structures embody the distinctive characteristics of a type, period, or method of construction that may be likely to yield information important in our history. Whereas the structures that have been moved from their original locations and are primarily commemorative in nature, rendering not, not qualified for state or national designation. However, such properties are eligible for the city historic register because they are located within integral parts of history village that do meet that criteria. Whereas the structures are reconstructed buildings that were accurately executed in a suitable environment and presented in a dignified manner as part of a restoration master plan. Now, therefore, the Mayor and Board of Commissioners of the City of Fairview do hereby proclaim the, city, the Jingo Post Office and the first medical clinic as City of Fairview, Tennessee historical sites. Move to approve. Second. First and second discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, I don't. There, I'll also have that one for our signature afterwards. Okay, great. <coughs> Item in discuss and take action on an assistant to the firefighter grant. Mayor, I'll turn that over to Chief Cooper. Uh, we need a motion to approve in a second before I can talk. Okay. I'd like to make a motion. Second. Is there, okay. Thank you, Mayor. Um, the assistance to firefighter grant, those have been in front of you several times in the past. They're called nickel grants and that our matching is a nickel on a dollar. As an example of that, when you go into Publix and buy your Thanksgiving dinner, you load your shopping cart up, wheel it up to the cashier, she says, that'll be $100. You hand her a $5 bill and walk out the door. <clears throat> it's for equipment. You can't do construction. You can't buy people with it. That's a safer grant coming up next. We propose to uh, put in to replace our air compressor. We fill our air packs with it. It's 23 years old. And it's also old technology, up to 2,000 pound bottles. The new technology is 6,000. We have some 6,000 pound bottles. We have to take them to Franklin to get them filled. Um, we also propose to replace our hearse tool, the jaws of life we use on wrecks. Our technology dates back to the 90s. If you recall, four years ago, we bought a new rescue truck. We took the, the tools off of the old truck, unbolted them, bolted on the new one. So we'd like to replace those with the newer technology. That's about 50 grand. And I'm using round figures. When we actually apply for the grant, I have to get to the penny quotes. So it'll be, instead of 50,000, it'll be $49,832.13, whatever. They don't deal in round numbers. Um, the training officer, everybody knows Gunny. He'd like to buy some training props. We, we have to go to either to Bellbuckle or to Franklin to borrow their training center. We can only take a couple guys at a time. If we had our own, we could all participate in town. So um, that's what we intend to buy with the money. The, tech, the chronology of this is the, the application period has already opened and it'll close week after next. The government sets aside a certain amount of money every year, this is Congress, and the competition for the money is fierce. There's 33,000 fire departments in the United States and this year, they have opened it up to the private fire departments, the, the fire brigades for the big plants and the 
Uh, rural Metro is an outfit in East Tennessee. It's, it's a private company that provides some fire department. They're now eligible. So it's, it's fierce competition for these funds because, it's, again, it's a nickel on a dollar. Um, and the, the, uh, uh, when the application's closed, week after next, uh, they'll review them, and they, they take about six months to, to award all of them. So we'll know probably in late spring, before our budget goes to bed, what our contribution will be. And then we don't have to write a check until the first quarter of the next fiscal year, July, August, and September, before we actually have to write a check. Now, we propose to put in for $200,000. Our maximum exposure is 10000 and we're going to come up with that 10000 by taking our old compressor and our old hearse tools and selling them. They're worth way more than the $10,000. There's my matching. Actually, it's going to be more. I take the first 10000 and do our matching. I take what's ever left over. If it's another 10000 let's say we get twenty grand out of those two, give it to you. Tom might want that for the reserves. So um, uh, questions up till now? Move to approve. Wait, we, we have that motion on the yeah. floor, but I, I need another administrative hoop we have to jump through um, to make sure the auditors are covered and everybody's, uh, uh, we got our I's dotted and everything, is I need an amendment to the motion to cap our request at $200,000. Again, our maximum contribution will be 10, and we'll have the money to do that. Because as soon as that new gear gets in, we'll, we'll, have, we'll sell the old stuff. We'll, we'll advertise it while the other stuff is ordered. Our new stuff gets here Monday. We'll sell the stuff on Tuesday. We'll already know who the buyer will be. So we actually don't have to come up with any money. So what I need, Mayor, is an amendment to the motion and a second capping our application at 200000 So moved. Second. Okay, so we have an amendment to the motion capping it to 200000 Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. Any more discussion? Okay, um, all in favor to the amended motion? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, and then go back to number one. The, um, <coughs> so do we have to go through? Just, uh, you've already got your first and second. Second. And if you've had your discussion, then you just vote on the motion that's okay. amended. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Discuss and take action of Safer Grant Johnson. Move for approval. Second. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? Chief Cooper, please. Yeah, thank you. Um, the Safer Grant, which stands for Staffing for Adequate Fire and Emergency Response, the feds have to have their anachronisms. Uh, we have a Safer Grant now for half a million in progress. It runs out a, a year from January. We're already <laughs> at the end of our third year. Uh, in review, the SAFER grant is designed to take these folks that are getting out of the military who have no skills. They come out of high school, joined the military, did their four, six, or eight years, and now they're on the street. They can drive a tank, they can shoot a machine gun, that doesn't get them a job. And the idea is we take them, train them as firefighters, and then hopefully we can hire them or get them jobs someplace else. It's for 36 months, and it's called a full boat grant. They pay wages benefits, insurance, retirement, everything. It costs us absolutely nothing. What I want to do, they haven't opened the grant uh, application process yet, but I don't know when that's going to be. And again, the competition for these slots is fierce because it's a full boat. There's no matching at all. Um, so I want your permission to, to uh, apply for, the, to renew our, actually it isn't renew, it's another safer grant. Whenever this application comes in, and it takes about a year to put the whole thing to bed, uh, and hopefully I can get the three more positions for three more years. Okay, we have a first and second. Any discussion? Chief, I just want to make sure we got a clarification on that. At the end of this grant process, are we still required to maintain those positions? Good point. I should have said that. No, you're under absolutely no obligation to hire them. Because I know in some of those grant processes you are. That's correct, and we are, we are not. Thank you. So. I should have brought that up. Okay, any more discussion from the board? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you, Commissioner. Appreciate it. Thank you.
Item P, discuss and take action on approval of bid of resurfacing grant. Johnson. Thank you, Mayor. I'd like to turn it over to Mr. Umber so he can bring us up to date on this. I think there was an issue with the... Uh... Okay, thank you, Commissioner. Um, Madam Mayor and uh, Board, um, I just, we opened bids on this project on the 18th on Tuesday. Um, they have been reviewed by our engineer. They've been submitted to the Department of Transportation and they need to review them and give their approval before we can take any action on it. So I'd like to request that this item be carried over until the first meeting in January. Okay. Move to carry over the item at the first meeting in January. Second. Second. Okay, first and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item Q, discuss and take action on first reading bill 2014-25 ordinance 84 or 847. Okay, I have the reading. An ordinance for amendment to the city of Tennessee budget for fiscal year 2014-2015. Uh, this is after this year's budget. Move for approval. Second. First and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Can I stop? I didn't ask for any discussion. Yes, you can go back and ask for discussion. Because it's not completed. Right. Okay. I just wanted to give fair chance for discussion. I rushed it. Did anybody have any um, items? Okay. I'm going to go back to all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. R, discuss and take action on resolution 1814. It's a resolution to set a public hearing for the purpose of obtaining public comment on changing the, the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7161 Cox Pike, owners uh, owned by Richard W. McCord and Denise R. McCord, as shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42, Group C, Parcel 2.01 from RS-40 to TCOD without designation, approximately 0.48 acres. Move for approval. Second. We have a first and second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. S, discuss and take action on resolution 1914 a resolution to set a public hearing for the purpose of obtaining public comment on the changing of zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7159 Cox Pike, owned by Roger E. Lampley and Deborah Hall Lampley, as shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42H Group C, parcel 2.02, .02, from RS-40 to TCOD without designation. Move for approval. Second. Any discussion? First and second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Discuss and take action on resolution 2014. It's a resolution to set a public hearing for the purpose of obtaining public comment on changing the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7119 Cox Pike, owned by Elton C. Hall and Deborah L. Hall, as shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42H. Parcel 3 from RS-40 to TCOD without designation, approximately 0.58 acres. Move for approval. Second. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item U. Discuss and take action on resolution 2114. The resolution to set a public hearing for the purpose of obtaining public comment on the changing of zoning a certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7151 Cox Pike, shown owned by Elton C. Hall and Deborah L. Hall, as shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42H, parcel 3 from RS-40 to TCOD without designation, approximately 1.3 acres. Move for approval. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item V, discuss and take action, a resolution 2214. 
the resolution to set a public hearing for the purpose of obtaining public comment on changing the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7114 Wiley Circle, owned by Roger E. Lampley and Deborah Hall Lampley, as shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42H Group C, Parcel 1, from RS40 to TCOD without designation. Move for approval. Thank you. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. W, discuss and take action on resolution 2314. The resolution to set a public hearing for the purpose of obtaining public comment on changing the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7112 Wiley Circle, owned by Roger E. Lampley and Deborah Hall Lampley, as shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42H Group C, Parcel 2, from RS40 to TCOD without designation. Move for approval. Second. First and second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Item X, discuss and take action on resolution 2414. It's a resolution to set a public hearing for the purpose of obtaining public comment on changing the zoning of certain property in the city of Fairview, Tennessee, located at 7169 Cox Pike, owned by Margie McCord, as shown on Williamson County Tax Map 42, parcel 179 from RS40 to TCOD without designation, approximately 1.3 acres. Move for approval. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. 11. City Manager's item of discussion. Thank you, Mayor, Vice Mayor, and Board of Commissioners. Uh, first off, tonight we have no staff comments, but you have our city manager's report. And we'll, if y'all have any questions of any of the staff members, you're more than welcome to ask that. That will be turned over to our website in the morning. Uh, the next item I'd like to bring to our attention is the Planning Commission voted on a one lot annexation on Stark Lane for Jason Langford and his wife for the purpose of building a house there. It is contiguous to the city property and uh, that will be brought to, to your attention at the next meeting for uh, preparing the documents to uh, vote on to annex into our city. Uh, next thing I'd like to say is I'd like to thank Mayor Toddy for her dedication that she's had to this city for not only as mayor but her number of years as uh, a Chamber of Commerce. She's done a fantastic job and I'd like to thank her for her dedication to our city. Next thing I'd like to congratulate Mayor Carroll and Commissioner Shannon Crutcher on their election and looking forward to each one of you being on our board and looking forward to working with you. That's all I have tonight. Thank you. Any other staff? Uh, okay, I, I was going to go back because I realized I said it. Okay, Larry, Mr. Contrell. Thank you, Mayor. Um, first thing I want to say is uh, it was, I appreciate the opportunity, opportunity to have worked with Mayor Toddy and I wish her well in the future. I want to uh, congratulate Mayor Carroll and Commissioner Crutcher. We spent quite a bit of time, I think yesterday, uh, going over some things uh, that will help them in their new positions, or at least I hope it does. If it didn't, we wasted a lot of time, didn't we? <laughs> But I don't think it was a waste. I think yeah, it was, it was very good, and I'm um, thankful to have the privilege to work with you. The second thing is is just a uh, uh, clarification. Normally, on uh, resolutions to set public hearings, you don't put that in the, the date of the of the hearing in in the caption because you're reading the caption and the date is contained therein. But there's so many of them that, for the benefit of the people who are listening and the people here, though all of those. Uh, Public hearings will be held on uh, December 18th, okay. 2014. And I'll hold anything that I have uh, for next meeting. Thank you. So it means we get to read them again. Um, okay. Any other staff comments? Okay. Board of Commissioners. Let's start out with Commissioner Bissell. I have nothing to not Thank you. Commissioner Crutcher. 
I just want to say uh, happy Thanksgiving next week, and uh, thank you, Mayor Toddy, for your service. I want to thank uh, Attorney Cantrell for meeting with uh, Mayor and I yesterday. We spent a lot of time together going over uh, what is expected of us and, and not expected, probably more importantly. Uh, I want to thank the citizens for entrusting me uh, with this position, for voting for me, and uh, I'm honored to have been elected. Look forward to serving the next four years. And our uh, junior pro Titans are playing in a tournament in Knoxville this weekend. I think they leave tomorrow, so we want to wish them good luck, and hopefully they'll represent Fairview well and come back champions of that tournament. Thank you. <laughs> Commissioner Johnson. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor Toddy, thank you for all you have done in our community and here at the city and what you will continue to do in the future, I'm quite certain. And I would like to welcome Mayor Carroll and Commissioner Crutcher to our board. Look forward to working with you. Thank you. And Vice Mayor Sutton. Thank you, Mayor. I, I too would like to thank uh, Mayor Toddy uh, for all of her hard work and diligence. She has moved this city forward and out of this city with communications with the state of Tennessee, University of Tennessee, I, I can't name them all, uh, that we haven't had before, and has expanded the material that we were able to get into this, to the city, and the, the free help that would have cost us no telling what to get into the city uh, through the TVA and other, other departments like that. So thank you, it wasn't easy, I know it wasn't easy, I know you worked hard to get it done, and I appreciate it. Um, Mayor Carroll, Commissioner, congratulations. Look forward to working with y'all. And once again, uh, be thankful for everything you have next week. And think about those that don't. And uh, there's, we've got, I, do they still call it Grace Work or Helping Hand? Grace Works. Grace, Grace Works now is what used to be Helping Hands. Uh, they're open for any donations, uh, food, different things, especially monetary to help pay the rent, things like that. So keep these people in your mind because we are all in this room blessed. And so just keep them in your mind and your heart. Thank you. Thank you. I, too, would like to say another thank you to our Mayor Beverly Toddy. She has just done a lot of great things. I mean, she's reached out to the community. She sure has spearheaded a lot of things. And um, like the Vice Mayor said, she's brought a lot of attention to Fairview. And I don't know that people will ever realize how much uh, Mayor Toddy did for the face of Fairview. And so for that, I will always be grateful. I am so humbled and grateful to be sitting here tonight. I appreciate y'all giving me the opportunity to stay and serve. I am honored and I hope I will make y'all proud as we move forward. Fairview has a bright future and I'm happy to be here and I can't, I'm really thrilled to be working with these guys. I know we'll come together. Election seasons are not fun, um, but we will come together and do what we need to do to make the city move forward, and that's what we do. I know um, I normally forget to fa thank my family, so I'm going to make it a point tonight. Um, I, you know, they say behind, um, you know, every person that has any kind of success there's probably a spouse there that um, roots and cheers and gives them the support and we all experience that because we couldn't spend the hours away from our families and our kids and miss things without the support of those people we love and so um, to all elected officials it's definitely um, a time-consuming job and sometimes not always um, people don't always appreciate it but I appreciate y'all and I'm glad to be here and um, I appreciate my family for supporting me to the citizens not only do I pledge to never stop listening I will pledge to always put you first in the decisions I make once again, I thank you for this opportunity, and I think we need a motion to it. Oh, one more thing. Sorry. That was great. I want to invite everybody, um, all the commissioners, all the audience, 
We're gonna have a little reception at Overtime Grill at the bottom of the hill, and then please join me. Um, there was something I did, don't worry, but because the the budget. I don't, want, I don't want anybody to think it's city money, but um, feel free to come join me. <laughs> I had to throw that in there. But please join me. As soon as we get done, we'll head down the hill. Okay, we are adjourned. Thank you.